Pop Tart Review number 29. Wildlicious Frosted Wildberry Pop Tarts, January 2014. Heather. Ooh, we'll just start. Yeah, we'll just look at the Pop Tarts. They're so cute, right? Quite adorable. I know. Personally, I don't really like purple, but um, I do like this vibrant blue color, mm -hmm. and they are so vibrant. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I found about all the wild delicious pop tarts that we've done so far. They're just vibrant. They're very yeah, vibrant. That's I think true. that's. I think that's what we said about the um, fruit medley ones, and also about the wild delicious. Wild that's strawberry. a good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we did say that they were both very um, vibrant. One thing I'd like to so. point out really quick is that these are frosted very unevenly. That's true. This pop tart has much more frosting than this pop tart. Much less, much less frosting than this pop tart mm -hmm. does. Weird. Come on, Kellogg's. Not sure Get how I together. feel about that. Not sure how I feel about that. But. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So we're doing the wild berry ones because we wanted to compare them to um, the red, white, and berry ones mm -hmm. that we did last time. So we really have to channel ourselves back into that time to think about, you know, what do we think of those ones versus these ones. They're good. The pastry on these ones is not red. Mm -mm. It's plain. It's regular pastry, so that's a little different. You know, I, I have to say, I actually wish that mine was frosted more evenly. Mm. The edges are quite dry. dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the frosting is dry too, but right. it, it's sweet. It mm -hmm. helps. Yeah. So, um, I would venture to say that I like these better. Really? Than red, white, and berry. I was thinking the opposite, actually. Hmm. Strange. I just think these are more like burst of flavor. Hmm. They're more tart. Maybe. I think maybe the reason that I'm liking the other ones better is because the other ones were more even. Like mm. less of a less tart, less mm. less of a burst of flavor. I don't know. Hmm. I think also maybe just because last pop tart review was so, so special. special, right? Yeah, the pop tarts were special. The circumstances of circumstances eating a pop tart can definitely mm -hmm. alter the experience. Yeah, of the pop tart. That's true. Um, so that's a valid point. Mm -hmm. Like, for me personally, I'm eating this Pop-Tart pre-genocide class. Right. So it's not necessarily the most momentous mm -hmm. occasion. That's true. Mm hmm That's something maybe on our next season of Pop-Tart review mm -hmm. that we can monitor more closely to mm -hmm. have a more controlled environment mm -hmm. while we eat our Pop-Tarts. That's true. Yeah. Just make it more valid, more scientific. Mm -hmm. Really. Okay. I agree. I agree. I do like these ones, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I'd say they might be on par with, like, the regular strawberry ones or the wild, delicious mm -hmm. strawberry ones. Yeah. By now. I do like them. As I'm down to this corner, I'm starting to feel a little overwhelmed. Oh, really? Hmm. That's interesting. Pop-Tart over. Maybe it's just because it's morning time. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, Pop-Tarts are a part of a balanced breakfast, so that can, mm -hmm. that can be negative weight. That's true. We did have a balanced breakfast this morning. Okay, well, out of seven, I think I'm going to give these 5.25. Oh, wow. 5.25, I think, because I, I like them, just not quite as much as the red, white, and berry ones, but still, they're, they're good. 
What did I give Red, White, and Berry? 4.75? Mm, I don't know. I, I, I think so. Oh. I think I'll give these a 4.75. Mm. Um, Same. So they're right. Mm-hmm. They're right on par for you. They're on, well, they're on par, but the, the Red, White, and Berry um, had the experience factor, which really pushed them mm-hmm. forward a tiny notch. Oh, yeah. So. That's true. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. So we have 4.75. Okay. Okay. That's fair. That makes sense. Um, yeah, so I'd recommend buying the Wild Licious. Yeah, definitely. Why not? It's, it's good for a breakfast snack. It's fruity. Mm-hmm. If, you're into, fruity. if you're into fruity, that's really good. Which we are. Yeah, of course. Especially you. Especially me. Yeah, especially you. So, um, yeah, next time on Pop-Tart Review, I think we'll be going in a bit of a different direction. Mm-hmm. We'll be looking at more of a dessert Pop-Tart mm-hmm. rather than um, specifically, you know, a breakfast Pop-Tart that incorporates fruits and vegetables, where I think we're going to just go for the straight sweet, but that'll be a surprise. See you next time on Pop-Tart Review.